Hi what's up YouTube, it's Dom here from Payday Pickups and I'm back with another video and as you can see I'm at my old backdrop, I'm back home for summer now, I'll never be at that uni room ever again but for today's video I'm going to be showing you my 7 men's streetwear summer essentials of 2018 I did this for 2017 and for 2016 and you lot seem to love it but before we start the video please make sure to hit that notification bell so every time I upload a video you lot will be notified but anyways let's get into it so coming in at number one, this is something that is massively on trend at the moment. It is football tops, or as you like to know in America, it is soccer jersey. This has been massively on trend because the biggest football tournament is happening at the moment, the World Cup, and it's probably the main reason why I've not been uploading that much because I am so addicted to it because football is my favourite sport. But anyways, going on to the fashion aspect, the first topic I want to talk about it is the Off-White X Nike World Cup range. So basically Virgil Abloh, once again, he's doing absolute bits. Congratulations to him with Louis Vuitton as well, but he created a collaboration between Nike and Off-White. He created this black and white kind of checkerboard long sleeve soccer jersey, very old school, it had like the orange Netherlands badge and also had the Off-White text as well. He also brought out a short sleeve white t-shirt, they also brought out a soccer ball and he also brought out two pairs of shoes, these are the Off-White Flying at Mercurial, I think that's the name, and he brought them out in a black colourway as well as an orange colourway. The second thing I want to talk about with the soccer jerseys, it is the Nigeria kit. This was hands down with either this Nigeria kit or the Colombian kit are the nicest football kits in the World Cup, I personally think. But basically the Nigeria kit, collaboration with Nike, was very unexpected but it sold out literally everywhere and the colourway is mad, it's kind of got like this green and this kind of weird kind of like pattern, I don't know how to explain it, very very wavy and then it's just got like the black and grey sleeves, such a such a nice kit. I tried to cop it but unfortunately it sold out everywhere and now it's reselling for such a higher price. Another collaboration they're doing is Kiv are bringing out these six soccer jerseys in a variety of colours. We've got black, we've got white, we've got red, we've got navy. Let me know which one's your favourite in the comment section down below. Me personally, I want to cop the white one with the gold with that. I just love the red and blue. It's kind of like the France top, but I mean, I kind of wish it wasn't gold, it was black or something. But either way, they are all so, so clean. And then lean on from that, we also have the old Palace stuff. Palace stuff has some for like Umbro and the collaboration of Palo Adidas. They did like retro football tops as well. They've been very, very on trend as well now, coming out and reselling for a lot more. And then last but not least, me and my brother have created our own merch. It's something perfect for the World Cup for all the England fans out there. We've basically been inspired by the polo bear ring by Ralph Lauren, and we've created our own polo bear, and he is wearing the full England kit. You'll be able to say it's better than the close-ups, and underneath it just says World Cup Bear by England, and then underneath it is my brother's signature because he created this because he's a graphic designer. These t-shirts are going to be selling on my website, Payday Vintage, and they're going to be priced at £20. We have from sizes from small all the way up to extra large. So if you want to buy one of these t-shirts, we ship worldwide as well but it's probably more likely going to be for the English fans out there because England are absolutely smashing it at the moment it's two wins in two games hopefully they'll beat Belgium as well so if you are interested in buying one of these then please make sure to go check out our website which is Payday Vintage. So the second spring to summer essential I want to talk about it is Hawaiian short sleeve shirts or wavy short sleeve shirts. These are massively on trend at the moment. They're perfect for the hot weather because they're thin material, they don't get you too hot as well and they're perfect for being on holiday as well. A few people who are sick at Star know is the YouTuber Sanjeev. You probably should have heard of him and you probably subscribed to him if you subscribe to me as well. But basically he can style them so so well and this shirt right here is honestly my favourite. The colours on it are amazing. It's kind of like the cigarette packaging, kind of like the Marlboro Golds. It's got the roof that Rue Designs branded on it. And another YouTuber who's really good at styling these Hawaiian shirts it is my man Basti Nico or Scarface as he's known on Instagram. Here are a few photos right here. But these are something where you can get from anywhere. Good places to buy them from are such as like Zara and then a variety of other places. If you want to get like an individual one that no one has, go check out some vintage websites such as like Fresh Face Vintage, Rick's Retro, Class A Vintage. They've got a variety of vintage wavy shirts as well as the ASOS Marketplace. But that is the vintage wavy shirt coming in at number two. So coming in at number three, it is fanny packs, shoulder bags, and tote bags. So basically in summer, you're going to be wearing less layers. So to look more fashionable, you need to layer up with like other accessories. So bags are perfect because you can wear them all throughout the year. But shoulder bags are the ones that have been massively in trend recently. People are wearing them differently. They're wearing them like either around their waist, around their shoulder, or just straight down their arm. Some brands that you're probably seeing all over social media, such as the Supreme, they bring out a variety of ones in different colorways. The Places Plus Faces, this one is honestly so nice. I tried to cut the black one, but it's reselling for so much. And then other brands such as Pata, then if you want to look for some cheaper range ones, some ones like I've got, it is the MKI Sling Bag. These ones are actually really good quality and I like the little hanging down part. You can also clip this onto a pair of trousers. 
And then other brands such as Steak and Raccoonia, Set Store, these come at a cheaper price point, they still look really, really nice. But I think these are just essential. Gives a different aesthetic to your outfit. You can hold like your wallet, your keys, your phone in it, so you don't have to worry about it, having any stacking in your pockets, etc. But this is something that is definitely essential for the spring slash summer. Then lean onto tote bags. You can just wear some simple tote bags, there's just some minimal branding. There's some like off-white one, a cold war one, and ones that I make that I'm selling as well it is these Commodore Garson ones, they get perfectly with the CDG Converses. And then another type of tote bag which has really been on trend it is the see-through tote bags. Kind of like it shows everything what you've got inside and such a brand such as like Helmet Lang. But overall bags are essential for the spring to summer. So coming at number four it is crop trousers. These have been trending massively throughout the past few years but basically when it comes to summer you want to be something wearing more like lightweight. You want to get away from denim because that's more for the fall slash winter because they're too hot. So the alternative trousers to denim it is crop trousers. A variety of places doing such as like the high street shorts. Ones that have been very on trend is ones at the side strip, Zara, ASOS, Bershka, Pull and Bear, you can get them from any of these places. But then some stuff that's been more on trend, ones that I'm actually kind of looking for it is pinstripe pants. Some brands that are doing them I know but these are a bit too expensive for my liking. It is such as Represent and Summit. And another thing as well, a crop trousers that's been massively on trend, it is the longer drawstrings. You can tie them so you can tuck in your shirt, show off these long drawstrings. Gives it kind of a different aesthetic. It kind of adds some more details of the trousers and it kind of makes your outfit look a little bit more stylish. I'm really looking for a pair of crop pants with these long drawstrings, but if anyone knows of any good places to buy them, then leave them in the comment section down below. So coming at number five, it is sunglasses. Sunglasses are a key thing that you need in spring for summer. They're an added accessory, obviously they're protecting the sun as well and they just look so stylish. So the standard sunglasses such as like Wayfarers, the circular ones as well as the platform ones. The ones that are coming a lot more in trend are sort of like the cat eye ones. I know they're more in the female but some men are pulling them off as well. And then also people are just looking for more like vintage frames, something that stands out. Looks I know you lot ask about my sunglasses, my favourite ones at the moment is the mirrored ones. They have like the platform at the top, no nose bit and they just look really different, something that's out there and a load of different kind of shapes. The Chanel Paris ones, the circle ones that say Chanel Paris on have been very very on trend and these are really rare and expensive but basically the sunglasses, the more different they look, it feels like the more fashionable they are. So basically the best bet I'd say is look for vintage sunglasses. They have like a different aesthetic to them and make you look far more stylish. And obviously different sunglasses shapes fit different people. So you gotta just keep trying until you'll find the ones that fit your style best. So coming in at number six now, this is something that's also very, very big. It is accessories. So when you're in the springs or summer, you're wearing less layers of clothing, so accessories are key to make you look more stylish. Things that have been very, very on trend at the moment is with the crop trousers, it is jean chains or like wallet chains, just an extra accessory, as well as people also adding like a carabiner. Carabiner is kind of what people use to like rock climbing and like abseiling, but they basically do that and they put their like house keys on it. It's an added accessory and also rings and jewellery are something so massive. You lot know I love my jewellery. Some stores to get some cheap jewellery such as like Chained and Able and Feather Pendants. They have some sick stuff. And when it comes to like chains and stuff, you can also just go to like your local thrift shops, vintage stores and you'll find stuff like that. The good thing with that is they're better quality because they've lasted longer and also no one will have like the same stuff. However, they can have some like some scratches on them. You can also check out a brand called Level UK. They basically allow you to make your own personalised ring. And then if you look for the high end stuff, you can look at stores such as The Great Frog in London. But overall, I go for like the kind of cheaper jewellery. I mean, I've got one Gucci ring which I thought my girlfriend got me, but I usually just go on like eBay and go to my local thrift stores to find my jewellery. So last but not least, to wrap things up, number seven, we are now going on to the sneakers. And the main sneakers at the moment, I feel like, are ones that have been collaborations with people, like celebrities. So a few examples are like, obviously, Kanye West been smashing it. He brought out the new range of the Desert Rats in like the beige colour at the start. I think these are so nice. And then he brought out the lemon ones. I'm not a fan of these, honestly, at all. Another artist it is Travis Scott. He brought out obviously the Cactus Jack Jordans as well as the Cactus Jack Air Force Ones. These are both six shoes. The Air Force Ones are absolutely crazy. And then the next person, probably the most popular shoe of 2018, it is Sean Wotherspoon, the owner of Round 2. He basically created the Air Max 97s with the Cordroid. These have been smashing it all over social media and these shoes are honestly beautiful. Another celebrity we can talk about it is Skepta. He basically made his own pair of Air Maxes. The white ones would have like the red to go around the side as well as the blue to go around the side. I don't think these were as popular as his first Air Max 97s, but these still sold out pretty much everywhere. And then last but not least, once again, the man Virgil Abloh, smashing it as always, creating more shoes as always. He's recently just produced like the light blue and white off-white Jordans and then the two coming out is the blacked out Prestos as well as the white Prestos and then as I've mentioned before he basically made them like 
gliding mercurials off my mercurials and say foam at the bottom. So he is just doing absolute bits and I'm honestly so excited what he's going to be doing at Louis Vuitton because he's going to bring Louis Vuitton more into the streetwear game as well. But overall, that is a wrap. That is my seven summer to spring streetwear essentials. Let me know if you agree with them. Let me know if you don't. Let me know if there's any other things I should have mentioned in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post two men's fashion videos every single week, one in the week and one every single Sunday. If you're new here and enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really goes a long way. If you want to see my daily life and all my recent pickups and everything, then be sure to go follow my Instagram, which is at underscore. Overall, have a nice day. You can check out the rest of my videos and I'll see you in the next one.